Where's the love? Where's the love? It's right here in the heart of the city. I'm Silas Grant, and I got my man with me. What's up, Joe? What's up, Tom? Good, man. Feeling good, Slim. I don't, I don't think I've seen you in a minute, man. Yeah, man it's I've been about two weeks. Been moving around. Yeah, Super Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl go. Yeah. yeah. What, what was that like? Man, the Super Bowl was, Super Bowl was crazy, bro. The Super Bowl was a, like on multiple levels, and I'm. But the main thing for me, right? We know it's a spectacle. It's a major event. We know that, right? But what I appreciated the most about the experience was, as a football fan. Right, and I'm not sure. Like people go for the parties, for the, but I'm saying strictly, we talking about fandom, and like as a football fan, it, that's what it is. It's a celebration of the NFL and of fans for real, and to see people from all all different, obviously all over the country, but people that have fans of all the different teams. Because my anticipation was, you know, of course it was. The 49er fans and the Chiefs fans, of course, right? But that was sort of like what I was. But then you also had everybody else that was there. And there to celebrate that them two teams had made it. And then, of course, we got treated to probably one of the best Super Bowls we've had, particularly, you know, around, like, in terms of competition. And, and, and yeah, man, so, uh, you know, shout out to the commanders, man, for that opportunity. Uh, Jess and I had a wonderful time. Um, they put us up, you know, nicely, and everything was covered. It was dope, man. It was it was cool. Much needed too. I feel rested. Um, yeah, man. It was cool. Good. Super, Good. super cool. And I and I, I hope that, um, you know, I get the opportunity to. I want now. It's like now. I'm like now. I want to go to the Super Bowl, like every year. I want I want to go to the Super Bowl. Um, and then also like real quick, just about Las Vegas. You know how much I love Vegas. You know what I'm saying? I've been going to Vegas all my life, and. Um, but but one I'm always inspired when I go there because it's constantly evolving. You know what I mean? And I pull from that. Like I feel like um you got all the different hotels there and they all competing. Um, but then you also see the ones that they all also kind of have a, have their demographic. And um what Vegas does, I think, beautifully is there's something for everybody. Every demographic, every price point, you understand what I'm saying? Like, and it's so, so everybody can come and you can have your kind of fun. You understand what I'm saying? And I think they do that. That's a that's a art. That's not by accident. You know what I'm saying? Like we know all we know the gambling, um, uh, the entertainment, uh, the, the culinary scene, all of that kind of stuff. But it's like, um, you have all of it's range to all of that. And, and they always, oh, that hotel is doing that. We need to do our version of that. We, you know what I'm saying? Now, to me, why I'm so inspired by that is like, I think that's how we got to be. You know what I'm saying? We got to be looking around us. You know, whatever industry you in, whatever lane you in, you know what I'm saying? They'll f- carve out your niche, but like figuring out, like, okay, they doing that, then let me do that. You know, steel shop and steel kind of thing. And that, to me, Vegas always, always represents that. And the stadium, like, it's design. It's just, I was out there just like marveling at that, like Again, just feeling inspired. The fact that there's no parking lots, they got like a walk, a walk bridge that go over the highway, and 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 like the the, the stadium, like right, like the strip is like here, and there's like the Mandalay Bay or whatever, and the and it's the highway behind the hotels that's on the same on that side of the strip, and then the the, the stadium is on the other side of the highway, and they built like a walkable bridge. You know what I'm saying? So people park in the parking lots and at the hotels, and you walk, you walk like we walk back. I didn't understand the proximity was like right there when we, so we got to ride there, but we walk back, bro. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, also I'm thinking about like when we, you know, when the commanders move back to DC, and yeah, I'm claiming that and uh, build our new situation. You know, I and, and not to mention if it happens at RFK first, we even we got the subway, so that's. That that already is an answer to parking, but outside of that, like a, a, a stadium of that magnitude can kind of be, you know, without parking. That's something that I had. I don't know if I had thought about. Yeah, I mean, so so there's a lot of you know, there's a large contingency of people that are now active in government and politics here in D.C. Right? Yeah, a whole new wave of people who are really concerned about automobile traffic and that's been one of the contingencies around I guess negotiating figuring it out a lot of people are pushing back like okay if y'all bring this here you can't bring all them cars right, right so I think right. that's going to definitely be um, a point 
of contention, so to speak. That's going to be a pivotal yeah, yeah, discussion. That that parking, I think that's yeah. the, at least that's a place um, uh, that you can look to. Um, but on the other end of the spectrum, right? So, like, you look at Vegas, right? But they already have a parking infrastructure with the hotels. Right. Right? So, that's like a pre existing, you know what I mean, parking situation. So, all they would, what they did innovative from an innovative standpoint was to build that land bridge, <clears throat> you know, from the strip over to the stadium. Yeah. Uh, for us, we probably will have to have some parking for sure. Um, but maybe not as much as we once thought of, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you know, again, with the stadium, Omri, um, subway stadium, everybody not going, but, but people, not everybody going to catch the train either. But I think, especially now that we got the silver line, the train go all the way out to Northern Virginia, you know what I'm saying? The Maybe, you know, you know what I mean? Maybe I think that's something to be considered. So yeah, anyway, man, that was, um, we we had a we had an amazing time, man. Good, 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 yeah. good, man. Yeah, we um definitely I think um with the consideration of a new stadium here, I'm really curious to see like because every stadium that's being built, you're starting to see it go to another level. Yeah. So uh, I'm talking about I'm talking about not a bad seat in the house, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about like like I really want to go. Uh, man, I pray the commanders play. The four, I mean, the, the Raiders. I pray that, that that would be awesome. But if not, I want to go to a Raider game. You know what I'm saying? Like, or if they play y'all or the Ravens or mm -hmm. you know some just a team that I you know friends or fans of. I would love to do that. Yes, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. experience that. But it is it, dope, and I can see that kind of stadium, that energy being here. You know what I'm saying? Um, and 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 also I was just seeing some of the news coming out about uh, the, the possibility of you know the Wizards may may not leave or something, but if they if it happens if they do leave you know I think it's just more imperative whether they leave or wherever they leave or stay. I just think uh, the Commanders belong in the District of Columbia, yeah, bro, yeah. for real. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of you know how much legwork it's gonna take. Yeah, you know, one of the things I think about, though, man, uh, as it relates to even our sports teams and everything for real, where the the fan today, some of them, or the people, even the people, the, 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 when we look at our populace, right, our citizenry here in the District of Columbia, you got a lot of people who, I ain't talking about people like you, bro, so I don't even want to know. That's not even real. We ain't talking about, you know, homegrown people who don't support the command. That, you know, that's that's neither here nor there. But what I mean is we got so many people that this fight, this attachment to our local teams may not be there. Yeah. And that's a, that's dope. And those of us that are attached aren't necessarily the people with the most disposable income. Yeah. So we don't become the aim, right? I was just listening to uh, Ted Leonis talk about who his constituency was. Yeah. And I'm, I want to say I'm not, this ain't even, I'm not even judging it, but just listening to him. And it's like, you basically said that, because cause ideally you would think if it's about crime and all that, blah, 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 you would say, damn, well, yeah, but your your fans live in that same city. So there, there should be, it's almost like when, when the police brutality thing was happening and Colin Kaepernick was leading that charge and that in combination with, if you recall, remember when the Papa John's owner made the comments? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So those two things were happening at the same time. And it was interesting because the Papa John's owner made those statements, but you could say from an anecdotal perspective, the majority of your drivers delivering pizzas are people of color, Latino or black, right? Yeah. All of this police brutality stuff started from traffic stops. Yeah. So you got black drivers who work for you that are more likely to be pulled over and now you're the one that's being insensitive about issues related to black people when that's the bedrock of your work, sure, yeah. right? Now, in combination with that, hmm. um, Colin Kaepernick was trying to get police chiefs 
from major cities and owners from franchises in those cities to get together and talk about how this impacts black people. So prime example, Dallas Police Department Chief Jerry Jones, right? Washington Metropolitan Police Department Chief at the time Dan Snyder, right? right? right. Trying to get this together to say, listen, like you too play a major factor in this issue. NFL players feel like they can't say what they want to say about it. Police are at the core of the challenge that we're having with this stuff, right? So how can we not be sensitive to crime happening to black people and you own a team and you know that that's your fan base, but you say crime, like you said, is a factor, but you don't have any concern about the black people in particular yeah. who are being victimized. Yeah, and then it's like you you saying like the people you, but it's almost like he was talking from a standpoint where he already know that the most, most of the people that come to this venue in D.C. don't live in D.C. It's almost that way now, because you would just be, you you should be concerned about crime around or throughout the city, because these are yeah. your fans. You're a major stakeholder in the city. You own a right a large right. property like, you know, there. Just, just the people that come in from Maryland, Virginia. That's basically how I received it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I thought that was a very tone deaf sort of selfish kind of commentary. Um, you know, because but one with if that was the case, but you thinking about it like damn. Like, there is a disconnect between, you know, a lot of the new residents and our sports teams. I mean, I think the Nets and the United, particularly when you start talking about, like, uh, 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 our white neighbors, right? Right? They'll, they'll, they'll attach to the Nets and, and, to, and to the, 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 um, the United. Um and I'm not saying we don't let them become Commanders fans or, the, or or Wizards fans, but it's just a bit different. Yeah, you know, it's funny when you think about, and we're coming up on a presidential election cycle again, right? And what you'll hear in this cycle, and you'll hear it in other conversations like this one around crime and, and fans and things of that nature, working class people. Yeah. You'll hear that phrase, and subconsciously you think of white people when you hear that phrase yeah. more likely yeah. and it's funny i've been to the raven stadium been to a few other stadiums you know east coast or whatever the case may be and you see more of a white working class fan that goes to those games and i think the ownership in those other cities with those other franchises they have a closer connection to the fan base because of that yeah and here in dc the working class people. It's a, that's black it's people. Black people. We don't really got even working. We don't. We don't really have work. And, and like, we have white. Obviously, we have white people that work, but I don't right. know if they consider working class. Yeah, you they, they not carrying a lunch pail yeah, and yeah, helmet. Yeah, it ain't blue collar yeah, folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's a better term, yeah. you understand. And and so I think all of that play again. That's why I watch. And, and that group drives sports from a national. Yeah, national. Yeah, they drive the sports. But Story at and, the yeah. same time, was crazy. I mean, but that's why this place is. Well, I, I tweeted the other day. Oh, DC is not a real place. It's so unique. Yeah. But you do. You still have black people that make up that same aesthetic, though, right? Far yeah. and they support our team. They spend money, right? Yeah. But when so when you but when you talking about and that's why they live in the DMV or they live in DC proper. Um, but when he said that, it's like, bro, like to me. Somebody of your stature should be concerned about the safety of Washingtonians, yeah. in, which includes your fans. And so that, uh, to me, that doesn't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just somebody that don't believe in getting up and running. But for you yeah. to say Cause, that's cause why you're leaving. Because he's a stakeholder at a larger degree than maybe he accepts. Case in point, right? Something like COVID that impacted the world, yeah. right? if every city had to come up with their own strategy, it wouldn't be crazy for him to be at the table. It could, how could, we are right. 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 He's a billionaire, again, he owns one and of the biggest properties. And what he owns, right, yeah. no facts, it's, yes. He's a guy yeah. that like, if you're having a, let's move forward sort of yes. like coalition, Ted Leonis should be on sure. that. Sure, sure, and and I just felt like, yo, like what, and then so, but then, oh, but then you wanna run, you wanna leave, but you're going to, a place where you're still gonna benefit, where you already have benefited, but you're gonna continue to benefit from those people that you're running from. Right. You you because in order for it to work, they gotta come. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and 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 it's like, 
those are still those your diehard fans. Right. That's those why it has to work because right. they have to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's like I think people miss, and I think uh, a lot of times people do forget whatever brand they kind of forget, or maybe they just oblivious to how particularly here like how your brand became a thing here right who who is your, who was the fan who helped keep the doors open right yeah. that i see that around when it comes to and that but that's the that's what's problematic you know we talk a lot about in general, we talk about the the, the crack epidemic and how, and what it did here, right? But but we talk about it in such a like past. It, it was the past, but it's very present. You know what I'm saying? So many people, our age group, in in in, in behind, just did not reach its, their potential. We're not in spaces, right? So what happens is that there's a. a there's nobody to represent, nobody to share that history. There's no institutional knowledge, right? There's no institutional knowledge. And, and people think things are just the way that they are because of what's happening right now. And it's like, no. It's like, no. And for you to, for people, I think sometimes to, I think the city, got, everybody is sort of like shifted to appease either those who have been here a short period of time or tried to lure people to come here you know, now or in the future. And like literally they they the, the, the people that's been here is like an afterthought. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that and it, it shows in in a multitude of ways, bro. And it is 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 as a native, it's it's painful, it's disrespectful. It's it's like, um, you know, and then it's like, how can how, why do you guys think that that's all right? You know what I'm saying? Just even from, I mean, even we, we, even if we talking about dollars and cents though, right? We I ain't talking about the hard string stuff. I ain't talking about morality stuff. I ain't talking about none of that. I'm just saying, even from when you, because because my thing is, yes, I get it. From a dollars and cents perspective, you're aiming at the more fluent, right? The people that may got the most, like I mentioned before, the, the most disposable income and all that. But what you miss sometimes, though, but will they? Will they support though? And will they stay? Will they? Are they even gonna be? Yeah, are they rooted? Yeah. Silas, yeah. are they gonna be here? What's really interesting, and this is why I felt like as a city we made some mistakes, right, in doing that. By not investing as much as we should have in our people, in 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 the in the human the human infrastructure, right. By not doing that, by taking the option to recruit others, to lure others, and you, we, we run into this little bump in the road with the crime and all that, they're going to do just what Leonis is they get right, yeah, yeah. And speaking of sports, it's almost like the analogy of the teams that go get a bunch of free agents and the teams that draft well and create coaching. And build. And build, yeah. Pre oh, that's that sports term. What you say? How yeah. you would do what they do? What they do, so they create culture. <laughs> Not for real. Culture. Yeah, they, they build it, and it's that's long term, right? That's a, that's long term sustainability. Yeah. And then what else happens on the back end of that? When they do build that culture, even if they get some hot shot free, that free agent mails into that established yeah. culture, yeah. bro. Yeah. Look what Kansas. Like look at any dynasty. This is what happened. And that's you got to invest in your people, and the people that you know ain't going nowhere. Yeah. But that's what built. That's what sustained this place. When we had them times back then, what I was talking about, when half the population was on some form of public assistance, and half of it wasn't. But those people, you know, what I mean, like our your parents, my grandparent, who stayed, yeah, who ain't go nowhere. No matter the whole house was on fire, and they said, "I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here." Man. Yeah, and we gonna we gonna raise them, and they gonna be they gonna be something. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we gotta we we've lost that and that's a that's that's because you can't build a place the that that's fragile the model that we're trying to that we tried to do is fragile bro you know what i'm saying and yes covid had a big impact on like you said on the world it definitely hurt our downtown all that we get all that federal government still teleworking you know as they should <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we getting it done you hear me it's like, <laughs> but but what i'm saying is our residents when we be pushing 
all them years about access to opportunity. To, this is what we talking about. A, 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 additional people to the tax base. And but again, people that's going go to them restaurants. People that's going go down there and and, 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 and um, go to the games. This is what we were raised on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if all the people making the decisions weren't here when that was happening, they weren't raised they here. They don't have a backdrop. Yeah, bro. And it's interesting to me how people have somewhat of a like a um a almost like a disdain for like when we got pride in in our stuff. But they may have a flag in front of their house or wherever the hell they from or whatever team they support. And the, but their allegiance is to that, and it should be. And it should be. But it's like here we've taken an approach, even people that's from here, that like we panda to like, you know what I mean? We'll say things like DC, but that you nothing else in your actions or how you show up screams DC. You you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And me loving this place should not I'm not adversary you to where you from. It's just it's, it's it's if somebody's from New York or LA or you know, whatever, Chicago, they Bears fans or the fucking, you know. Indiana, who, whoever. There was a comment that was left on your page on a previous show where we posted some reels. And um, a guy I know, he left a comment on your page and he was saying that he never thought that in his lifetime we would have to highlight being a D.C. native. Yeah, how about that? And I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, yeah, yeah. but... He basically was like, he's happy that people are highlighting it, but he was like, I never thought that we would get to a point where we would have to really hold on that hard, that we would have to fly the flag in the midst of. We rare. Yeah. We're, 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 we're incredibly rare, especially in, like, positive spaces. And, 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 like, I had a situation the other day where I got, I didn't get invited to this party. A, 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 a friend of ours called me like he told him come through this joint da, 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 da. I pull up and then he had to come out and some other you know and basically lobby for me to get in I wanted to, so 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 what I wanted to do because you you began talking a bit about um the the sort of this new wave of culture happening in DC and I was going to get to that 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 event obviously curb bones party a couple of things that happened this week and yeah. I wanted to talk okay, about yeah. and some discussions that I saw online about culture in this area so I wanted to talk about those things so I'm okay. glad you brought yeah, that up I ain't want to, but that what we talking about is relational to those gaps that got created by not enough of us um becoming who we should have became and I'm clear that the lack of effort, it's not enough effort put when when this corporate thing's happening, rather people coming down on the hill. I don't want to just make it about that event. That event was small. It, it, it but it, it 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 was really a a, a microcosm of what happens a lot. Yeah. You feel various industries, various events, and, all of that. I think that event in particular stands out because the sponsor of the event, their impact on fashion has not been seen anywhere bigger than here anywhere anywhere in and, in and, and, and that even if you have an event because see this is a place first particularly for for that brand if it was one of them other brands i wouldn't have felt the same way right that brand means something to us in a yeah different and way. we mean we should mean something, something to, to them it. yeah 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 and i'm and i ain't talking about all that I, I get it or if, even if it was a creative base for the creatives and all that, but hold up, hold up on that. I want to say this too. I'm an author. I've curated art exhibits, photo exhibits. I'm in songs. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? So, so, I, I'm that too. And I'm proud. My product, if I, as a creative, any any of the people in that room, as I, I've had a clothing line. So I'm just saying. If if, yeah. if 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 that's what we want to, whatever the metrics w was, and I probably can, can, we talking about sales, influence, reach, right? So don't, don't like, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no, you're not going to, and I say this with all deference and humility, but for real, I, when I get in the room and I see who in the room, and I see some good men I love in the room, like, like how, how did I have to, me in my city, 
How did I have to bother? How does somebody have to lobby to get me in? Right. <laughs> you crazy? Yeah. yeah. It's it's becoming, I think, what's happening here, maybe it's happening in other places, but I don't think it's happening to the level that it is here. We are such a young city from an official perspective and from a cultural perspective that it is it is it's dangerous, but it's easy to uproot what we do have as culture. And, and, I, and I think that all, to that point, too, I think every locale or every place has its unique things. Right? Mm-hmm. But our things are really ours. We, we're not really akin to other places. So when people aren't, people, and, and by not being a lot of us in them, them roles, in them offices, da, 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 our perspective is not even considered. They don't understand our culture, right? When they go to it, if somebody has something in New York City, you everywhere you've turned since all your life, you've been inundated with New York culture. Yeah. Right, you're gonna take that extra step. You might, it might gonna be somebody on your team that's maybe multiple people that's from New York. Say, now we gotta call this person. We gotta call that person. We gotta call this. Person. Like, and for everything I'm, I, rather it was that event or other events. Once I get there, it's happened to me a, a rack of times in different situations. Once I get there, the powers that be, if you will, the people that's dead, they, 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 they know clearly who I am. Mm-hmm. And so once I'm there, it's like as if I was invited. <laughs> but I'd be like, man, for real, for real I wasn't invited. Yeah. But how does and I'm, I don't I don't want to. My bigger point is if it, if that happens to me, then you know it happens to other people they, who did. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, even Twin Twin made a post yeah. about that brand uh, and how. I mean, honestly, the establishing he, he's a part of the establishment of that culture. Yeah. And and see, it was a panel. And a lot of people use his photos. To verify that to DC ver- was the all of that, yeah, all of that. You know what I mean? And he's he's a creative, and he's a creative. Right, they don't I, make I was, a, I was, he was off, actually yeah. there, so I was happy. Oh, okay, about okay, that. all right. I didn't he know that. Was, no, yeah, he was there. Oh, okay, you know what I mean? He was certainly there. Oh, okay, there was a panel as well, but I, I missed the panel. It's like a private event after, right? But what I'm saying is, so shout out to them for however twin. Twin was invited. He should have been. He should, he should have been on the panel. If you ask me, but that's that's even here. I can. I understand the panel was probably like you know about a certain thing. Cool. I ain't got no issue there, right? But what I am saying is, some of that stuff is is it may seem like it's small, but it it it, it keeps happening. And what I'm saying, it won't continue to happen, right? It can't. And was because it's some it's some. And I, I and I want people to understand this too. There are certain certain things like even I've been in a position where people invited me places or wanted to interview me for something. And I say, I'm not the right person to talk to. Yeah. Yeah, call him. Call her. This who you need to talk to, not me. We won't do that either. A lot of us don't do that. You yeah. understand? Because sometimes y'all ain't the right people. Or any of us will be in a position where we're not the you're not the right person. And sometimes people know that, and they won't pass the mic. Nah. And there's a lot of power in doing that. Oh, my God. People don't realize that. Because we together. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Throw the lob. Now, that that person better suited than me to do that. I do it all the time. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Yeah. With with, with D.C., and so that DC, the D, that's so that's why I'm saying the relationship to the the commanders, to the to the to the wizards, to the to them brands, to these certain restaurants. Like we did that, and especially with that brand, the streets did that. The creative culture, the creative class before Joy Fresh Goods and 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 and, and, and the other dude, they be collect- We was doing that. You got yeah. council members from here that wear them. You got when a dude get out of prison, the first thing his family do yeah. is get him a pair of them. When that, wear them to why, court, that why, don't happen nowhere else. I've seen it, 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 with two brands, right, New Balance and with the phone positive, I've seen the discussion nationally. And people that I know from other places, I tell them, like, in our city, man, dude, grandmother got a pair of 990s I'm on. I'm telling you. Like, you're, like so in this one city where they call the phone positives the dope boys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's like, you call them that because only the dope that's boys are yours. No, in our city, everybody. my father had a pair of yes, phones. Yes, 
Like for real. Hey, like like for know, real. So that's the difference. But if nobody, if you're not here, if you're not from here, yeah. and if ain't nobody from here, or even if it's one person from here that might be in them offices trying to fight for that, but he or she may not have the support or the back. And I feel like that's what happens to DC people across the board. Yeah. Cause people from here and people be trying to like, like this ain't my theory. Right. Look around. Yeah. And I'ma say this. I'ma say this. And this mat this does matter. We've been almost we by default, it's been and this ain't no shot. I hope people understand what I'm saying. Just listen to what I'm saying. Get out your feelings. I'm gonna say that in front. We've been almost, we've had to rely on DMV people, Maryland and Virginia people, because they, at least they, they make it. They make it, It yeah. ain't really people really from, like, the, the D.C. proper. I'm saying that to say, that's how rough this joint is, bro. If you, if you name whoever famous, right, that, that we consider to be from here, especially in the world of fashion and entertainment, a sport and a lot of, it ain't a whole lot of people literally like from dc proper not that that ain't no shot at nobody what it what it really speaks to and a lot of them people got definitely dc root their parents got made a little money or got a stable move to whatever move to virginia whatever that's cool that's not what it's about what i'm saying though is that's how difficult it was to make it from this place fam and then you got people who are from dc proper who at a very early adult age made a conscious decision. Yeah, they had the role. They had the role, but they had to cut off the ties here too. One thing I've been talking to, to Josh about a lot when we get together on our walks is that, man, sometimes, man, we we pour because we pouring into everybody. Yeah, sure. And so, like, when you got that, that existing connectivity, yeah. when that it's sort of true. like cultural umbilical cord is still connected, and especially when that what you're connected to, is 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 failing, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean for real, yeah. like it's drain it drains you because this is what I'm saying. Everything that was left here, yeah. everything didn't move. Er nobody was doing well, yeah. and I don't want to say nobody, but I, you get my point. Yeah. And so also the even so or even those people vanish point right might be a little distorted right it ain't all the the authentic right yeah don't necessarily make it to be in roles of like leadership and shout out to everybody that come from this area that's been doing great things and be coming back but i i know for them it's a big fight for them because it's just not a whole lot of them any other area you know even when i talk to someone in my head i they you know, they talk about how much they, man, it, but it ain't because it's just them. And they long for it. Yeah, fa fam, and and it, it, it's, for it's crazy. But, and so that that's going to take a while, you know, hopefully, you know, to get, but, but what I'm saying to them brands and to them, them whoever, them, them, them organizers, da 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 da, stop playing. And I know we didn't, on, on, the, on the social side of things, you know, I know for a fact that. I've been able to make relationships and people are aware of them. Man, you come to D.C., you got to call Tony. You should have Tony, you know, blah, blah, blah. The you know what I'm saying? But, um, I, 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 and even in that, it'd be crazy because, but if it is, I'm saying this to people that's, that are, that have proximity to here and you keep like you, as if you like you playing gatekeeper and all that, like that, that we, nah. Like for real, because it's uh, it's it's it can't continue. And if you don't know, right, then you know that's that's, that's not the. It's like it's lazy then, because it's it's not like I'm not part like I'm the. But like you, know, you ain't gotta. Come on, we talking about we're in the information age. Like I walked in that room. You can find out. Like what do you like? What think about that, bro? And it, 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 again, whatever metric we talk about, social media influence. We talk about people that have galvanized and got a track record of of, of influencing. And then, then not only that, when we talk about a, a Angel or Mo and Greg at the, the music, it ain't just me. You know what I'm saying? What? Like, even if we don't come, everything that happened, that, them, there's certain names that should be on that list. You mentioned Angel, Mo, Greg, right? And I know we all feel young and vibrant, right? But everybody you name is like north of 35 at yeah, this point, right? Sure. That's just being conservative, right? Sure. 
Um, I saw another conversation this weekend online on X, formerly known as Twitter, and um, there were some people going back and forth about the music industry in mm -hmm. particular here mm -hmm. and the contribution of people from either like the immediate past or generations before. And what I'm also noticing from 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 a, I think what you were talking about was like segmented based on um, culture and like proximity to the streets versus you know being creative and maybe not having that connection. Right. But it's also an age thing too happening now, and we still outside. Yeah, but I can agree. I think I think it is. I think it is, but it was also it was people our age. Yeah. In this particular Yeah. Year. On the music I think first of all, especially like rap music, right? That's a young it's young here. Yeah. Right? And in that way, but it's also a young young person's world. Right. Locally and nationally. Yeah. Music in general. It's like Yeah, rebellion is always music, music is, is a, a rebellious young, yeah. All right. Yeah. But then rebellion normally happens among young people. Sure. And then yeah. you, you grow with, you know, like you, whatever. Even the people that we like, we start liking them as young people. Yeah. For most of us. Yeah. That's how I mean, you know, we become fans of like newer music, but you understand what I'm yeah. what I'm saying? And so what happened in that conversation, um, and I'm I'm trying to tread around it a little bit because I don't know if they resolved it. Yeah. Right? If it was yeah. resolved, I'd be more free to speak about who was talking. But these were two people that again different ages and not aware of each other's impact and i think that's also rocking the boat here yeah. in this area too because yeah. again you can go out tonight and there's 60 year olds 50 40 20 18 year olds in the same spot yeah and you yeah. know the 18 year old looking at the 50 year old like who are you the 50 year old looking at the 18 year old like who are you and they both are contributing to what we see in this modern DC, but it's like I'm I'm also afraid that if they don't close the gap on understanding each other, then we're not gonna have the progress we wanna be. Not nah, sure, but you gotta wanna I do think that and again, the, the that local first versus transplant thing is interesting. Yeah. Um the old versus young thing is another dynamic to that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think some of those things are natural disconnects, right? But they they not ones that can't be mended, that can't, you know what I'm saying, can't be forged. But to your point, you got to you gotta respect the, 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 the other person, even if you don't agree with their perspective, mm -hmm. you got to, I'm, I'm, maybe it's just me, but I always, I'm interested in, who the other person is that I'm talking to, right? What have they done? Why Why do they feel that way? You, un you understand what I'm saying? But if you just coming in like, man, who are you? Either way, I'm saying. The, the, the older person, the younger person, the person from D.C., the person that's not from, either way. You know, who's the, the fuck, man? I don't know what they talking about. Da, 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 da. Then we can't, we, we can't, we can't grow. We can't move forward. My, my thing is, though, like, had the same mindset about this area that you would have if you was in Atlanta or that if you was in LA if you was in New York you know what I'm saying I think it really I be feeling like it become because you already you coming in the gate as if you already feel like that the people here you know that's been here ain't got nothing they ain't do nothing they ain't got they ain't contributing no because if, yeah, if so I, I would know them yeah, you understand you understand yeah, what I'm saying I, I've seen two I don't want to say viral but two big moments in the last week or so about Atlanta and Los Angeles where particular people in like hip hop media mm -hmm. have made some comments about the artistry level in those two cities. Mm -hmm. And the people who cover that have posted it for the sake of really making everybody aware. This person said something really crazy about this city and rightfully so people jumped in the comments to defend those respective cities. Yeah. I don't know that. But we don't, that's what I'm saying. We, we, we don't, we, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, it wouldn't. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't gonna happen because I'm saying sometimes people feel like you can this, uh, this especially it, we talking about like that genre, right? You can tee off on us. You can do whatever. Yeah. You can say whatever, right? And, and and a lot of times though, what what happens is that because before anyway, not so much now because a lot of the young, but we ain't care about that. Yeah. That what now thing. That's another. Uh, that's what I mean. Like our culture is a bit unique. Now like, that even for the younger guys. That you know the neighborhoods got rappers and all that now, but they still don't really consider themselves like industry people. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I mean, shit, DC dudes just start going in the club 10 years ago. <laughs> you got to really think about that. You know what I'm saying? So, so what happens, too, a lot of people from other places can come here and meet people that, to them, are from DC because they, you know, promoting DC. Where they met him show, at. That's where mm-hmm. they met him at. My DC man, but you're not from DC. Yeah. We saw we saw a dude that we that, you know what I mean that we all know and a, and, a, and a rap dude said to him man you from DC he gonna be like, yeah yeah no you're not from here man you not from here how you know what you mean you he asked the rapper how you you he don't know that you not from here you should have told that man now nah, I'll just work in DC <laughs> seriously and that's my man we what you did that I I never forget that mm. I thought that was rather interesting yeah you ain't from here right. But that happened. That's a microcosm of yeah, what it happens. happens yeah. It happens, yeah. Because a DC dude, we're not in them spaces. I mean, that's not about blank. It's not like who fought it, but that's just the reality. Yeah. So, so again, people can come here and feel like, oh well, I mean, they ain't doing this, this, this. and it's not that. Sometimes the the local folk just it's, they're not even interested in doing that. And and the, here's how that I think impacts community and economy when not enough of us are given opportunities those opportunities don't i don't want to say trickle but they don't pour out into the rest of the community because the more successful i am or you are or a collective of us are that means that here's the thing like you standing up and being who you are has allowed people in we can say the city right but in particular, where you from, like New York Avenue, North Capitol, Trucks and Circle, yeah. them people have got a lot of resources because you were able to stand up and be who you are. I feel like I can say the same thing for my neighborhood, sure. right? If you put 10, 15, 16 of us from different parts, plot us all over the city, our respective communities have gotten resources because we've worked hard to be in those positions and really forced our way through and said, you're going to recognize That's us, so. right? So my point is that when you talk about DC people not being in that space, it's not for like, you know, it's not it's not nobody trying to have, you know, bragging rights. No, it means something when somebody is actually reaching levels of success, they can actually go back and save Facts. their communities. Facts, hundred percent. You know what I mean? So it's an economical and a community thing. It, it's no beyond it, bragging it, rights. Yeah. It's no doubt about it. It's no, it's no doubt about it. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about a person being able to become anything and be successful. And then yeah. you also inspire because then somebody can touch you. Somebody know you. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think, uh, you know, when it comes to, like, the creative class or the creative culture here is growing. I love to see it. I love all the young, you know, people that's doing um, uh, all, all the fly stuff, all the fashion stuff, all of that. I'm a, you know, I'm a major supporter of us. And even some of the things that we've done, when you start talking about the uh, 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 politicians making laws that help black businesses, that got certain grants and all, you would think they be thinking about when they writing that. You think they thinking about y'all? Who you think that they got to say, oh, let me let me do this because I know I'm going to have to see. Who You think they talking about seeing you? No. That's what I'm saying. Our contributions, too, have been much more far-reaching. When them, the, the, the go-go legislation and whether you do go-go or not, that's money for the arts. Yeah. Like I'm just saying things that we've been a part of. You feel what I'm Art saying? Art like, that preserves the history and, and, and the legacy of what it really means to be a black D.C. native. Come on, man. So it's one of those things where, it's it, again, it's not just about like surface-level bragging, but what I said earlier, because we're such a young city, most of what we know to be D.C. culture was established either right before we were born or during the time we were really young, but it's changing so fast that people could potentially uproot that. That's why the legislation was so important because yeah. you had to put it on paper. Yeah, it exists. So right? Yeah, it, it exists. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be up to. Because I saw people that, uh, that come from our culture that thought it was jokes and yeah, giggles when that sure, legislation happened. Yeah. Oh, why y'all doing go-go legislation? It's like, no, you got to understand that you got to put it on paper. And if we did not, like, trust me, bro, this is the thing. We, and this is what I'm saying. Culture only persists as long as the people that practice it does. Right, right. And we're very clear 
right? That our people, people that were born and raised here, have been the most gentrified group of people in this country. Yeah. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? And, and some of the stuff that we're, that we're talking about is an offshoot of that. The fact that people, because we're not in spaces, can feel like, you know what I'm saying? And they don't have a level of reverence and respect for us. Right, that you know, what I mean, this ain't this ain't no threatened type thing. It it it's the reality. We, it's certain things that we know don't happen nowhere else. It's no, it ain't it ain't no, you. We we it's a world. We on Instagram. We on the web and all that. You see certain parties and certain things that happen, quote unquote, industry stuff or cultural stuff in these different places. Right, mm-hmm. it's certain people that's always there. Those certain people, I'm just giving this as an example, may not, those certain people that didn't have the same impact on, on those places as me and you done had on here, right? Or G and Mo done had on, on this city. It ain't nothing that happens in, say, a New York City that them people ain't going to get invited, they show up or not. You going to know. I don't care if you just started that job at that uh, advertising agency, marketing agency last week. Somebody there going to say, oh, you got to make sure such and such on that list. Yeah. You get my point? And it's not about the part. What it's about is that person, for this to be recognized and have credibility and be authentic and really should just to pay homage for all the hard work that person done, done that person should be on that list. Yeah. D.C. has those people. Not I'm using, I'm just talking in just like me and you and I, but D.C. has those people. Yeah. And we got, we got them that's in our age group, but we also got some young people. And that's what I'm saying. That's why we got to hold the line. Because if they ain't including us, the, our young people you ain't got a shot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's a very good point. Because your, yeah. your, your, the multiple platforms that you have control over and your pulpit that you stand on and speak from, it affords you to be able to break the ice in situations where other people don't have that same yeah, chisel right. to break it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And, 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 you know, like, they be like, like, when you look, I don't care which, like I said, bro. Like and, and again and and forgive me like I because I don't be feeling but I just gotta want I want to say this though, like whatever like I just be want no I be wondering, right? How many people that these how many people you know been on Breakfast Club two times? How, if you tell me the people that been on Breakfast Club two times, been on Hot ninety seven two times, been on eighty five South two times, um, name mentioning songs, uh, 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 you that you know got proximity to you know. Uh, other like quote unquote that person would be a famous person right right yeah yeah I'm not a famous but that person yeah. is only the only other people that can say those type of things are amongst famous other people are famous people yeah like so like you know what I mean you you understand but, but like when sometimes when you're not when you present how I present you know what I mean when you're not trying to be like you the, you, you, the, you the best thing since sliced bread and all that people play with you yeah I, but I'm not really to be played with in that way and then I see them uh extend overextend to people that man if we talking about uh 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 how people perform impact and all that them people ain't and i I think the thing that to to really again emphasize is that when you enter a room when you receive the applause recognition um favor it never stops with you you're always giving to other people so this this discussion is not about oh let's give tony a robe and a crown for the sake of him it's like no this is what it means to leverage your voice and celebrity because every time you get something it's going directly back 100%. 100%. To everybody else. I represent something. Right. You know what I mean? I represent people. I represent, you know, people that may not believe in something that if they see me and what they've been able to, you know, we know we got, they, 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 I can do. You understand what I'm saying? This stuff ain't no joke. And then the blood, sweat, and tears that people didn't put in for, again, others, you know? And it's like, again, I know that. Uh, 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 when you when people are doing things in these other uh, uh, locales, that again they not missing that, they're not missing those people. I'm saying don't keep doing that here. You understand what I'm saying? There is a local Washington that means something. 
You know what I'm yeah. saying? This ain't just can't keep just being y'all seeing this is just, you know, the playground for everybody. A else. Resort. Yeah. yeah. It's like a resort. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like nah. And we got some one of the things <laughs> I hope, right? Um, as we talk about our younger creators that deserve, that that really deserve the eyes on them, that deserve to build these relationships. Um that that deserve to 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 have their gifts shared on a broader scale. Like we have so many of them here. You understand what I'm saying? Like that has to be like acknowledged. And, and we they gotta have to go nowhere else. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. We we gotta make it so that they don't feel like they gotta go to yeah. LA and everywhere else. And, and a part of the reason why they go into those places sometimes is because they don't see enough people that that are rooted from here. Getting what they need 100%. to get as far as flowers and 100%. things like that, and I, and I and I do know it's certain. It's like yo, if you act, you have to go to L.A. Right? If you're a fashion right, designer, right, you right, have right, to right, at some right, point right. go to New York. So yeah. Like I get that, right? Oh shit, act now, maybe Atlanta. Hey, who knows? You know what I'm saying, right, Atlanta. Right. But you get what you get. My point, right? I get that, right? It's like if you wanted to be on politics, right? You have to come here. So that, but to a certain degree, but like nah, we gotta support our own. But a lot of times we hear this, and it's like even when I made the post about the situation, so many people responded. Like, yo, I feel like that. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, we just done not even consider. We get less. So I know I'm not just speaking uh, for me and that. But, again, it's like this sort of like this, day, this general sort of like disregard for us. Even, again, when we talk about up to like a Leon's, when you just talk about like as if D.C. people that live in D.C. not your fans. What do you mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, not even almost, it is a tale of two cities yeah, for sure and it is so amazing it is not even a veil it is a wall yeah. right you know a veil you could kind of move it and maybe right. you know see through it kind of. <laughs> no because I, I you know we talked a little bit about, about it earlier but first of all happy birthday to curb bone happy birthday uh, bone 55 years old man um one of the people that um when you talk about dc culture yeah. living legend you living legend right and um I saw a video from the event. You were actually at the event. It looked like 100,000 people in there. That's what it looked like on the video. And it's crazy to think that, it's crazy to think that there are people that have no idea of that world. For sure. At all. But also, okay, that all them people, I don't know how many people that Martin Cross went don't hold, right? But it's in the thousands, probably Two, three thousand people, maybe. I'm assuming. That oh, video looked. But I'm just saying, that's yeah. the venue, right? It's wall to wall. Yeah. You talking about influencer? What do you call that? How many people for him? That everybody that came there came there for him. him. Miles made a post on Facebook today, and he wasn't being disrespectful, but he was like, he told Kurt, "You don't even need a band. It don't matter what band you put out there. They coming but to see they, you." They come, but, but, this is what I'm saying. And shout out to the to, to Serious Company, yeah, and School We Miss Kim. Yes, and then, and then yeah. G and, and Wincy pulled up to, you know what I'm saying? But everybody in that room came out there for so what this is what this is what I'm getting at. But from your these corporate, these cre these folks, they you you doing something. He the kind of guy that he gotta be he should be on in every list of anything. If you trying to move DC people. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. And Slug, right? In my book, I wrote about when I was a little boy, basically that I, I, I'm paraphrasing myself. I don't remember, but essentially, I was trying to encapsulate the 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 star effect, the star quality of, of, of my father and Ray in this, in what I wrote. That probably Michael Jackson in our world, Michael Jackson probably was the only person that was more famous in DC than them. I remember going somewhere. And somebody asking me about that, like to them, that was baffling. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you? I'm like, no, that wasn't hyperbole. I'm telling you, DC people don't react, don't move for other things in the way that they do. I'm fast forward up to 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 Bones party. What I'm saying is, oh, oh, I'm talking. All them people paid uh uh uh, uh sixty dollars. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's. Let, Let's 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 first talk about that. That can get people to do that. It's you you. It ain't nobody on the Wizards can do that. I'm talking about right now in the right day. Now. That's a fact. I would 
Uh, not one player on the Wizards can throw something and say, come pay $60, not even the game. Now, yeah, no, that you know too, that too. But, yeah, no, no, nah, we need to stop there real quick because you got me thinking, I don't think there's a commander, a gnat, or a wizard by themselves that say, I'm throwing throw a, a birthday party, party and it's going to be $80. It's going to be $80 and come. Pull up. So my point, when, so yeah. when we start talking about influence here. Yeah, very good point. If you're selling, any, you're trying to be influential here. We're not talking about nationally and in these other, mar- in this market, people move differently. And they got you to go to Maryland for that party. They got you don't even you don't, you don't even go going to Maryland. Uh, ooh, but I ain't need one Dre. You know, I don't go out with it. It's like, no, nah, and they got a lot of them. Well, a lot of them probably was living in Maryland now. But you get my point, yeah. bro. This that was a big big boy because that's what his hand called for. Those are our I could, that's who we move. You know what I mean? And so it's like now nah, I get it. Some of this stuff y'all might say, well, I, that. That crowd, that group of people, that's not who we're aiming at. But the reality of it is those people that was there, they 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 support things, they spend money, they go play. You understand what I'm saying? So if you trying to, if you want your spot or your something to get customers, I'm just saying of any support, of any magnitude, you know what I mean? He is somebody that, I mean, you know what I mean? But, but on, this, let's go back a little bit, though. I'm going to push back a little bit. I think, you know, we talked about the creative sort of community and um, their affinity for certain brands now mm-hmm. and the, the 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 avatar or the caricature that they are inspired by is that is that though so let's not oh facts yeah that, Ron, no, honey, yeah multiple brand, right you know what I mean yeah, like yeah, yeah is that aesthetic for yeah, sure yeah so they they yeah. definitely play and, a part and, and, and they not burnt point. out like people try to make nah, them that's right yeah and y'all been really appropriating that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Even like, but you it's know easy I mean? to do that when you've never actually been around them to understand that they're human. So, Correct. and I, I don't like to, I don't like to really go deep into personal conversations, but I think this is appropriate to say to that point. Like, I had a conversation with with Bone one time where I told him, "You just have to be careful because when you talk to people, people are enamored with who you are. Yeah, like like the caricature of who you are. Sure." Right, and I think it's important, like when you're trying to get things done, that you make sure people don't get distracted by that. Yeah, that was a real conversation yeah. he and I had one time, right? Yeah. And again, when you talk about creatives, you talk about the trends, the brands, right? If you're a kid and you know how to draw and you were skateboarding or whatever you were doing as a kid, you drew little men with the medallions, and the, they represent yeah. that. Your dad represent yeah. that, right? They were sort of the muses for that 100%. you know what i mean and i think we, we can't lose that when we talk about they are influencers in that regard 100%. and not just then yeah to this right? day yeah and again that's what i'm saying and there's some homage there's some some dues that should be paid to them for that you, know, you understand what i'm yeah. saying and, and, and again man so that's that like so and and, and, and and it was crazy for me personally is me being a bridge between them two worlds in so many ways. You know what I mean? Because in, in, for real, in a, in a lot of ways, like, you know, and in, 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 in being a, being a, not only a bridge, but a translator of that world to them and then to them to that world. To say why, you know, why they, no, nah, it's like, them young, they doing it. Da, 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 da. That's what I know that brother's been publicly all, all behind the scenes. I've, I've served in that too. You remember the conversation we had? And you not you your market, but like Ivy City where we ran into Eddie Van. Yeah. And you told him about the person with the Instagram page that yeah. was Eddie Van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A person saying? had a username. He had his name. Had his name. Yeah. Like, what? Like not you know, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, you 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 feel me, bro? Like, we are in a and so but but when there's no again, uh real connection. Like you said to to that for a lot of these guys and, they, and to them they they you know they 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 paying homage they moving the moving the culture forward but like you can't move this culture forward without centering you know the people that established it. Yeah. You you understand what I'm saying and and like a lot of the music that y'all didn't listen to over the years, even even the music today. It's 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 inspired by. 
people in 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 that similar struggle. You know, mm-hmm. you you know what I mean. So, yeah, man, I I just feel like uh, and without it being people in those offices, you know what I'm saying, um, in the in the boardrooms, to uh, to unpack the things that we're talking about. Um, I understand why why it has happened, but I think um it's important that w- what we've always tried to do um is fill in gaps, you know what I'm saying? And provide that that missing piece or provide that clarity of why things should take, you know, kind of pivot and, and take a take a different direction. Um I do wanna, you know, just again, man, the part bone party was incredible. So much love, so much and I didn't this how this how many people I didn't even see Bone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even see him. And he got on the stage. I heard him, but I ain't, I didn't even see that. I couldn't even see. That's how many people. But it was, but it was the the room was just man, really like just vibrant and just people just love and you know what I'm saying. I ended up just see my dad, you know, um, uh, in that space and see him, you know, get a chance to see a lot of people that you know that he hasn't, he still hadn't, you know, hadn't seen hadn't since he'd been home mm-hmm. and. Yeah, man, it was just really, 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 really cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Bone turned 55, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know, that's still Bone's still a young man, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real, for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bone still, he was young, you know, then. He was younger than them, you know what I mean? But, you know, and it's, like, it's crazy, too. As you get older, your age gap, you know, it shrinks, too, as you get older. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, man. So, um, but, yeah, man, shout out to Curb Bone, Yeah, man. indeed, man. And, uh, you and know, he got a wonderful platform, too, no Exchanging doubt. Jewels. Curb on TV, Exchanging yeah. Jewels, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's done a, uh, yeah, you know, I was the first guest. That yeah. is right. Yeah, let's not get that. That's right. That's right. But I was, though. And, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really proud of that. Yeah. That he would tap me to be his first guest. And he's went on, the, you know, he's interviewed just a slew of, yeah. of movers and shakers, not just people from this area, but just across the country, man. And I love, you know, his watching, you yeah. know, him interview folks and stuff, man. And and also, you you saw Bone, like, last, at the party, too, the range of people that was there, man. It just really was, a, I think, a true representation of him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, obviously, you know, his children, his family was there, you know what I'm saying? Uh but just a wide range of people, bro. Mm. Athletes, street people, business people, uh, political people, you know, clergy, law enforcement. Like seriously, I saw people from all walks of life, man. And uh that that I think that was a testament to uh who he is and what he's been to people, man. I thought that 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 was dope. Yeah, nah, definitely. Real inspiring, man. Definitely real. happy birthday to him, man. No doubt. Speaking of birthdays, man, little Molly G turned five. Molly G, five years five old, years old Slim. man. That's crazy, Special man. little girl. She five years. Hi. Five, hey, bro, man. that's a milestone birthday, right? You got a, you got a kindergartner, man. You got a five year old, Slim. What you feel? How that feel for you, man? Just when you woke up and like, damn, my baby five. five. Um, she told me the other day. She, you know, went to the bathroom and was like, I don't need no help. I'm five. Come on. I was like, that's yeah, tell crazy. Her, ease up, pop. Ease up. I I'm got like, this. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, um, you know, it's the thing I've learned, man, I think above everything else, it goes without saying, but sometimes you forget. They are their own people. I tried to tell you. Now they are from the time they. They, got, they in there, too. It's them. Yeah, it's there. You it's know what's there. interesting, right? You know, I you know I'm 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 you around her every day like I'm around my girls every day right so mm. you know what I mean we seeing them every day all day right so the the the, the changes or the, the that on her birthday the post when she doing her little dance I'm like all oh, all that baby shit is gone gone she's a look like the way she was looking and stuff I'm like yeah, look at her she that baby stuff is gone yeah, yeah. She, it, I was like I look got at some her, video man. of her she, she take dance classes you know. Three, three classes per week. Yeah. Man, it's some video from her her and some of her little girlfriends were at a little play date. And Valerie sent me the video and she was dancing, you know. And her dancing ability, her rhythm. Yeah. I show her a video of her dancing and I show her, and this might sound crazy, right, but I show her a video of Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. Jackson 5. She was doing some of them little yeah. moves. Yeah, she was. <laughs> 
And I was like, yeah, you look like you should be the Jackson Five yeah. or something when you moving. Yeah, young. It's just crazy how they grow in that fast. And fans. you see they to 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 also like. You know, I think we 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 have intentions. We try to you know we try to find our kids' gifts and put them mm. in things where they you know. But when you just sort of like see their gifts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You be like, dang, you know what I mean? Or or even, you know, what been tripping me out lately with with, with my girls has just been their wit, right? I just been blown away, Reese, just by the. What you say? You know what I'm saying? And making little jokes and you know what I'm saying and, and, and connecting. Yo, it be tripping me yeah. out. Like I'll be like, man, what? What did you? You know what I'm saying? And um, man, yeah, we blessed, bro. Yeah. And let me tell you something too that, I, you know, I've, it's, I'm not gonna say I realized it, but it's just reinforced. Um, and you can say the same thing with Izzy and Sophie for sure, because I've seen enough of it to know that's the case for them too. You know, it's hard to articulate to some people, like the way you gotta raise them is not the way that you raise every child. Sure. And it their trajectory is so out of here mm. that my biggest fear is standing in the way yeah, man, because like, of my own pride. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And there's some dog. things that people witness that her and I interact and they be like, but I be having to tell them no, nah, I got it. I know that's mine. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going. I'm letting her express. And, and plus, right? Yeah. Hey, I be, I be, cause one, but one of the things that's gonna always stick, stick with me, is what Keem said. His mother said to him. Yeah, young yes, on this young. show, young. Yeah. That's, yes, that's that's been like that's become a guiding. Yes, young. Principle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. That note she wrote him. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And her her telling her friend, no, I know him. Yeah. I know Facts. him. And I got I got we got to trust in that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know, and they girls too, and they mature quick. They say little slick stuff out their mouth and all that. Sophie said something to me. Or I said, man, what? <laughs> but what I said to her was, because I'm trying to get I'm like, oh, oh. I said, I'm not. I what you said, I don't have a problem with. Red. You know what I mean? But it's like how you how you, how you say, say it. Yeah. Just just watch your tones. Cause I didn't want to again, I didn't want to like smother what she was saying. Yeah. My father in law, he and I were talking about that with Molly about a week or so ago. He 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 was saying the same thing. He was like, he said, I see her maturity. And he was like, I see what she's trying to convey to people. And sometimes she don't be wrong. Yeah, that's what she's saying. talking to an adult, but she's not wrong. But like, correct. And when we had that conversation, like him being a more mature man, having raised kids, I heard him. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that was really that's the you what you just said was exactly what like I was. She was basically checking me about something which yeah. she wasn't wrong, and I wanted her to understand, realize that I hear you. Yeah, I want to acknowledge that you're not wrong. And, and because I am the adult, don't mean that I'm always right. Yeah. But how you talk to me is important. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like who? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You know, my mother's like, I ain't your little friend. I ain't one of your little friends. <laughs> I ain't one of your little friends, man. Yeah. But you know what though? You right. Yeah, daddy got to get it. You right. You know what I'm saying? Daddy did say that. I yeah. did tell you that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh. Happy birthday to Molly, man. man. You know what I'm saying? And I, man, and speaking of, that Sophie had a, what, remember I told you initially, I was like, she had a cold. Mm -hmm. That next morning, I had to wind up getting up and taking her to the urgent care because she, she did have a cold. Uh, it got like progressively worse, but then she also had an uh, ear infection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, we, so we, we, sorry we, we didn't get a chance to pull up. Yeah, no, nah, it was, it was, man, I, the, the one thing I say, just to kind of wrap this piece of it up, but like the one thing I was really happy about and I've been happy about in the first five years is that she's becoming in her own way a glue for her community. The kids just love. Yeah. And I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the families who have allowed their kids to befriend her and she loves it, right? She loves being around all the kids. And I think in terms of building community, Valerie and I have been very intentional about 
creating space for other kids to be with her. And I know that the larger group of kids that she knows and will get to know, they're going to be the change agents that, you know what I mean? I believe that. That's what we're building, baby. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was happy to see how many kids came um, and just how much fun they had together. Yeah. So I went to his party. He, he turned, turned one. He turned one. Okay, yeah, he turned, turned one. one. Yeah, okay. yeah, little yeah, knocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They had him flying that joke yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. The yeah, yeah, I saw the pictures. Yeah, had him flying yeah, that yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I ain't expect nothing less. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ian. I, uh, I, I saw him the other, uh, the other night. Oh, he did tell fact. me that. Yeah, he told yeah, 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 man. Good man, that's my dog, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and um, you know, man, I think a lot of what we've been talking about today, um, I think the silver, or oh, what I hope to be the silver lining, though, bro. Um, moving forward for those of us from this area we have to find ways to um like we're human beings we're going to have disputes we're going to have disagreements we're not going to see the world the same that's fine we got to find ways to you know mend those issues um resolve those issues we must come together we have no room at all to be mm. divided you know what I mean? In the ways that we have been in the past, right? A lot of stuff is water, but we can we water under the bridge. We need to move forward in some form of unison. Um, that's socially, that's that's financially, that's uh, you know economically, that's politically. We need to move forward together, right? Um, we have to stop hurting each other, man. We got to stop ca cannibalizing. You know what I'm saying? We must, we must unify, right? This petty, these petty disagreements, this ego, um, all of that stuff, we got to put it to the side for the greater good, for the greater cause. If you can't, you know, see it by now, we losing. And the only way that we'll, you know, change, you know, um, direction and pivot where we'll continue, you know, to get equal footing or, or get, you know, get back some of what we've lost is together. That's the only mm -hmm. way. That's the only way. And that's all I kept thinking about. That's all I, I kept thinking about, um, you know, the, over the you know, last, past couple days. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really have to unite. And, you know, the ability to unite don't necessarily mean that. Um, and I think other people figure this out, right? If we got a common goal, well, I don't have to, we don't have to be best friends. You understand? Well, I don't have to, we don't have to be best friends. In order for us to to work together, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The pride and that ego, man, we got we gotta let it go. Yeah. We gotta let it go. fear, it's, all of that. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, yo, and you know what I'm saying? DC and now saying something, you say something, you do. So we, that's been what we've been living by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying we mean that. You know we mean that. And there's a lot of things that we speak people names and rooms when they not there. You know what I mean? We've done everything really that we've ever done. It never was about us. You know what I'm saying? All of that. And that be real for us. We live like that. Yeah. We live like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh and 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 we more like again, more generally across boards, man, we gotta just start doing things for the right reasons, bro. Not just doing stuff because it benefits you. You know what I'm saying? And that's we we adopt that mindset. Ultimately, good things will happen for you. That's also what we've mm -hmm. tried to be an example of. Helping others helps you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop putting yourself first all the time. You know, because that ain't sustainable. That don't got no, you don't, you don't last long like that. You know, but anyway, hopefully, man, you know, um, we can, I, I look for, I don't know the best ways, but hopefully we'll figure out how to like, you know, convene spaces to talk about this. And, you know, I hear see a lot of people call each other brother and call it, call each other sister too. This is the one thing I want to get off my soapbox with this, but <laughs> I think that that's like, I uh, if, 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 if I, if you go somewhere, we've talked about this and shout out to Tyrone Parker. Yes. Yes. For helping us see this long ago. Yes, definitely. Never forget this. I never forget that. He was that on either. that Relisha Rudd walk over over Southeast, over MLK. Mm -hmm. And we was talking about we had a conference. I'm like, man, damn, I probably got a role with Tyrone Parker. That's all right. 
If he there, you there. If you there, you. If you there, he there. Yeah. And you know what he said? I never forget that. Yeah, I never forget that. We've yeah. been moving like that ever since. So if your brother or your sister in the room, you in the room. Yeah. You know what I mean? We can't keep. And so even even what I'm saying about like the the the, the back to what we were talking about earlier, the event. You know what I'm saying? It's like, cause I know if I'm in there, other people in there. Certain people got to be, but we gonna make it with people got our people gonna be in these spaces, bro. To me, that's a part of how we solve it. You said earlier, I don't know how to solve it. Everybody has to have that mentality that I'm accountable to somebody. And I think in this town, in the modern era of DC, it's been too much. I can just be free for all for myself. Yep. Right. And I just believe mm. that. Um, not enough people look over their shoulder and see somebody that'll make them straighten up and conduct themselves the right way. And I talk about that scene yeah, of the Godfather, Godfather all the time, That's right? Right, right That's where right. Frank is testifying and then his brother come in the room no and it's question. like, I, it's just been too much of a free fall. And not enough people that really can look over their shoulder and see a, a big brother or OG. Because we, we love calling everybody OG, yeah, right? Exactly. That's the other thing I be having a problem with too. But you talked about the brother, sister being thrown around loosely. But yeah, yeah if, if, if everybody's so much of an OG to you, then you got to think about what those OGs would think if you were short-sighted that's and right. selfish around how you that's conduct right. yourself. That's right. That's right. So that's a way to solve it. Nah, is we got to we gotta do some self-inspection and say, who am I accountable to? That's right. That's right. I think that's a part of the answer. Right. I agree with that. And having that, that's important to have. Man. You know, um, too many of us then got okay with not. Like, I've, I've heard even lately, like, you know, just talking to a lot of the youngins, like, like taking pride in, like, and they get that mixed up too. Like, your OG, and even, you know, a lot of dudes raised without fathers, so that's where it starts. They don't understand that. Like, mm-hmm. or your, your, big, your, your big homie, like, that don't take nothing – Having a big homie, being somebody's little homie, don't mean you you little. People don't understand that because they ain't had that. Like you don't like being somebody's son. Don't don't mean that you're not a man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, but people don't see it like that. Like that, those th- they feel reduced. So people almost ain't got. Like, I ain't got no big homie. That's too yeah. bad. That's too <laughs> Tony bad, Young, yeah. that was like real. That, Cause he, but he was saying it like I'm the big homie. You having a big homie don't mean that you're not the, the big, big homie. homie yeah. You got, yeah. you got, you got wisdom. You got counsel. That's what it. That's what it means. You have accountability. You ain't just out here. None of us should be out here just doing whatever we want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to think about it, but your that sometimes that accountability. Comes from the person, hopefully, you know, if we using them young, in the car with you. What he going to think if I do this, man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't see the dude in the car with you in that way, you need to get in the car with somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. For real. But, uh, yeah, man, we going we gonna to figure it out. We have to. Yeah, it's a must. It's a must. Hey, well, listen, we thank y'all for always listening. And um, I've said this a couple of times before, but I mean it. Almost everywhere I go, people are talking about us doing this. Yeah, man. Um, so I appreciate people watching and Very subscribing so. to the channel and leaving the comments and sharing um, the clips that we post. Uh, it's really appreciated. And I think, again, this show ain't about Tony and Silas. It's about Fair. the information being passed on and inspiring people edifying people, building people, right? Because that's a big part of who we are. Like, we're committed to building people. And, um, again, thank you guys for watching always. Heart of the City. Heart of the City. Peace and love.